by the time it's happening in class, it's easy for you to correct it. Why? Because they are expecting you to do it. Unlike just rocking up on a person in the middle of the class, they are tired and you're giving them instructions that they don't understand. And then you say members don't respect instructors, whereas I can use Yanda Omnias of Mele of Webadi. start today's episode let me start by saying the following congratulations to banyana banyana well done ladies uh, they've made it to the last 16 of the fifa women's world cup and by beating italy 3-2 so someone said in the first match they scored one goal second match they scored two goals third match they scored three goals so netherlands you know what's happening to you next <laughs> we're scoring four goals congratulations to banyana banyana they've done uh, this they've done us proud let me say that the only problem i have uh, i have is with people who want to celebrate banyana banyana's win by mocking bafana bafana remember we also want Bafana Bafana to support Banyana Banyana. We want them to be inspired by what is happening there. So it's not a good idea to fight, to mock them because of the success of Banyana Banyana. Please, guys, let's just support them. Let's just celebrate them without comparing them with the other ones. It's the same like the other team in the PSL. They always want to mock Kaiser Chiefs in celebrating their victories. It's been how many years now? Six years in a row. You should be getting used. You should be used to winning by now. You know. And then the next one is I want to congratulate Mark G for reaching one million subscribers. And happy 10 year anniversary to EFF as well. Yes, that's what I wanted to start with. Before we start today's podcast, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Podcast with MZ. You heard I didn't say fitness podcast. Welcome to Podcast with MZ. Mnagen yung mzianda, oba mnyazi, unzita, unyandini, umkabisa, mwanwa, nyande mnyama ya wapat. Yes, dim lo. Nkhani zo ishia glonda. So, what are we talking about today? We are talking about the period before you start your physical training class. It can be aerobics, it can be any group class that you are starting, whatever it is that you are teaching. There is that period before the class starts. That is the pre-class interaction and the pre-class instructions. So we're going to go through these. Why is it important? Because not that you have to do it the way I'm going to say it, but it's always about understanding why you have to do these things. Because when you understand, it's easy to create your own. Because a lot of people are like, they don't want those introductions. <laughs> they think it's cheesy or they think it's too much. But it's very simple. It's just to tell, make people understand what they should expect. Right, let's start from the beginning. Pre-class interaction. This starts when you walk in the gym then you start you've started teaching how you interact the people with the people before the class i always say it starts even at the reception when you greet the cleaners when you meet the fitness staff of the gym when you meet the first member that's coming to your class whilst you are waiting at the door for the neck for the instructor before you to finish teaching whilst you are there with the members the communication that you are having that's pre class interaction that interaction it helps uh, especially let's say you are going to a club that you don't know and then uh, you are talking to the people they don't know who's going to teach the way you are going to interact with them there helps you when you get inside especially when they don't know you and yeah all those conversations before class those are very important be it you are scaring them about the class be it 
we are making them believe that it's going to be easy. Whatever it is that you want them to feel, you've got that platform. Uh, I like jokingly taking it a little bit step further. Like, oh, guys, today in this miscellane gulal, I just want to nail you. And we laugh about it. They know it's a joke, but you've broken that ice. Yeah, well. Then you walk inside the class, setting up your things whilst they are walking in. Some people will say, play music. I always say it's up to you. You know, uh, I, it depends on what kind of a mood you want to have. You understand that. I mean, if you've just walked in, you're just connecting now, the people are walking in, and as you finish, they are already here. If you're not going to pack equipment, let's say you're doing a box class, there's no need to be playing music. That's what I always say. I mean, you just walked in with them now. They've just walked in. You are ready to roll. Talk to them. Interact with them. You know? Uh, if they are packing equipment, like in a shape class, well, that's another story. As they are packing equipment instead of silence, you can play music in the meantime. I'm just making an example. So, yes. But some companies, they've got an assessment rule that you should play music. If that's the case, play music. Find a way to play something. <laughs> All right. Anyway, but that's just... Other people will say you are setting up the mood, whatever it is that you are doing you are creating that pre-class interaction because you can set the mood by talking to the class. You understand? Uh, and some people are not good with that. And the universal way would be to play something for them. Cool. Now, as, as you start the class, there are things that are important that you have to do. These are the following things. Number one, introduce yourself. Always introduce yourself. Well, why is it important? Sometimes people don't know who you are. You know, just like someone is going to say, yeah, but what happens if I see that it's all the people that I know? Well, I don't know. But if people, if you find that there are people that don't know you, it's important to introduce yourself. Be it if you always have four people, I don't think you will always introduce yourself to four people, and maybe you just remind them. <laughs> but what's important is that if you mostly if you're working in a class that is full, always introduce yourself by name, and that you will be the instructor for the class. Yes, they know, but affirm that if you are doing a feeling. Tell them, ah, no, man, guys, I was called to come and help. You know, I'm here to help so that you guys get a workout. Or I'm here to help because I've got a new class that's on the same time on another day at the same club. So I felt if I come and do this class, you guys will get to know that I'm there and you could come through and attend my class. You know, that's another way of marketing your classes inside the gym because you can't just do feelings for the sake of giving members workouts or for the sake of getting paid. But that introduction is important and telling them what you are there to do. Right, then introduce the class. Now when you introduce the class, they know they are here for the step class. Don't end it there, guys. What is the plan for today? What do you want? What is the class layout for today? Because you are not going to teach what you taught last week if it's your class every week. So that is a must each and every class. What is the class layout? Tell them, you know. If it's spinning, uh, ride, cycle, whatever they call it in your gym, tell them what you're going to do. Okay, we're going to warm up. After the warm up, on the fifth minute, we will start by doing sustained work. And we are going to do a song that is five minutes long. Now from 85, 80 RPM, we'll move to 90, 100, 105. Working on that cardio before we hit the hills and start climbing. And we are going to climb for so many intervals. When you get to the other side of the climb, climb we're going to have speed intervals. Then after speed, we'll have two power intervals, one power intervals. Move to 
give them something like that as a sort of a layout of the class. If it's a shape class, we'll start by working on the legs, work on the quads, work on the back, which is the hamstrings, work on the calves, you know, work on the adductors, work on the abductors before we hit the upper body. Or we're going to first work on the anterior part of the legs, then we work on the upper body, then we go to the posterior part of the legs, then we work on the upper body again, then we do compound movements where we are mixing both the lower and the upper body, then after that we do the core. Whatever structure that you have for the day, you it's better you give people the layout of that structure because now at least everybody knows what to expect. If the focus is going to be on the lower body and so on. Kick class, box class, same thing. What are you planning to give them? You know, what do you want to focus on today? And then you you do that. Then after that, you have to motivate. Why is it important to climb hills? What life benefits do they get from climbing hills? What life benefits do they get in doing the combo that you are giving them for step today? You know? Work on the coordination, build stronger quads that even when they have to walk the whole day or they are runners and they, they don't want to be doing high impact training all the time. Low impact like cycle, it gets to save their knees so they still get the benefit of having stronger quads without really going on the tar road and and hitting on those knees that's another example so whatever are the benefits life benefits they'll be able to play with their kids they will have good coordination even when they are driving you know whatever but you pre-plan these things then after that you go down now to adjustments. You have adjustments for pregnant people, adjustments for beginners, adjustments for people who are injured. Always make sure you give those adjustments. The main ones being always one foot on the ground, don't be in the air, that is. Pregnant people try not to stand in one place. When you do squats in one place, this is how you do them, your adjustment. When we lie on our stomachs, this is the exercise that you can do. You know, you give all those adjustments to them so that by the time it's happening in class, it's easy for you to correct it. Why? Because they are expecting you to do it. Unlike just rocking up on a person in the middle of the class, they are tired and you're giving them instructions that they don't understand. And then you say members don't respect instructors, whereas you did not lay out the foundation for yourself to get to that point to be able to correct them. Right, because a lot of people don't want to be corrected. You correct them this week, the following week, they don't rock up for the class. They say you talk too much, you know, but you did not lay out a good foundation to correct those people's movements. Whew. Right, guys, and I think I didn't tell you to subscribe. I didn't ask you to like, not tell. I didn't ask you to subscribe. I didn't ask you to like. The video please do that please like the video share it with other people so that more and more people can have access to this information another thing that is important i've got memberships on this channel please join the memberships you will get extra workouts that i give and some of the workouts that we did back in 2020 and i still do new workouts almost every week I release a new video, either a shape or a box class, depending on, on what I've prepared. So please join to have access to those. I also have live sessions for members only. Please join to get access to those. What else do I have? I've got quite a number of things. And you get stickers, uh, the special stickers. Your next to your name, there's also a badge that shows how long you've been a member. And another thing that we also do live events for members as well. I haven't done one yet, but yes, it's also part of the plan. Right, guys. I believe I'm almost done here. Let me check my notes. 
if I did not leave anything out. Yeah, I have said almost everything that I wrote here. And this episode is over. That was quick. Not a lot of information. Uh, simple stuff, uh, introduction, pre-class instructions. These things, they help you as an instructor to, to start your class, any form of a class. Yes. Just to remind you, uh, pre-class interaction, that's before class. When you go inside, you introduce yourself by naming that you're an instructor for the class. Are you filling in or whatever the situation is? Then after that, you, you introduce the class. That means you introduce the ob objectives. Can be the obje objective of the class itself and the layout and the objectives for today. You get me? So that's where, how you introduce the class. Then you can motivate the what life benefits do they get from doing this class. And then you make adjustments for beginners, pregnant people, and new members. And then, ooh, let the good times roll. On that note, guys, thank you very much. I love you. I'm out of here. Peace.